Okay, welcome to a conversion tutorial this time. So we're going to look at the Orc Mac Gun, which is the, the new kit here. Um, and uh, so one of the problems with the kit is that it's kind of expensive and you only get one gun. You get lots of grots, which is nice. Um, I've assembled this without the wheels. So anyways, the uh, this is a really cool kit, except there's not a lot of variation and uh, it's going to be expensive if you want to make a unit of five. Also, um, we see that there's a bit of a size difference between uh, some of the older versions, uh, these are really old second edition ones um, as well. If you compare it to some of the, uh, the weapons from the Battle Wagon kit, so this is a, a Zap gun, it's uh, quite a bit different size, although we could probably beef that up a little bit by adding some more housing and whatnot. So you probably could put the Zap gun in there, make it work. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to take a truck, so here's uh, a box the uh, truck box and I want to take some of the parts from it so here's a um, I have some leftover sprue wheels uh, wheels on the sprue from um, the, the tutorial I did on the uh, the truck um, big track so the track version I took some uh, tank tank treads and put them on instead of the wheels so I have these left over and I have a whole kit that I'm going to uh, tear apart and we'll take a look at all the pieces so first thing off I'm going to uh, we'll open up the box and take a look inside Okay, so here's the uh, orc, uh, truck box. Let's uh, open up the plastic here and uh, see what we have inside. I mean, most orc players already know what you have inside, but um, the whole idea of this tutorial and the way that I'm going to do it is to try to use only these bits here, um, to maybe minimize the option or the requirement to use other bits to make these uh, big guns. Okay, so the main part that I'm concerned about is going to be these wheels. So the wheels and this chassis. So what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is for each big gun I'm going to cut the chassis down so that I have each section here I'm going to have the axle which is right there. Let's move this out of the way. So I'm going to have uh, a set of wheels. So there's different size wheels. I'm going to have to match up the sizes. Take the axle, put it on here, cut this down a bit and that'll be the main part of the the uh, the gun. Now I've seen some conversions online. If you Google, um, you know, uh, big guns conversions or orcs, you'll see some different options. One of them is to use the boarding planks, kind of going out the back, uh, making that kind of the support for the gun. I'm going to use some uh, some of these bits here as kind of the the front grill, so that'll maybe replace this piece here. Um, I can use some of the I can use this on a different version of it. I can use some of these doors to kind of make up for that, plus the extra door from this kit. So maybe I'll cut these doors in half, just so that they're half and half. Um, so that's going to be the, the the basis of the kit, and then you know maybe some of the engine bits and whatever, some of these, uh, these support pieces here. Maybe I can cut those up and add some uh, extra variety. There's the engine. That's the that's the general thinking of this. So let's uh, let's get into that and cut some bits out and start piecing things together. So in theory, I should be able to make three big guns out of this box. Which uh, if you combine with this, there'll be four big guns made out of uh, you know basically the cost of two big guns. So that's the the theory. Let's see if this works. Okay, welcome back. I've got all the parts uh, clipped out, or most of the parts, anyways, from the battle, or sorry, the uh, truck sprue. So I've got uh, some axles with wheels. Uh, the wheels are glued together; they're not glued on the axles just just yet. I've got the boarding planks, which will be uh, useful at the back end of some of these. Um, here's the the main part of the chassis, all cut into three. So I've cut it into three bits here. So there's one, two, and uh, three is somewhere in this pile here it is three so the idea is that those suspension bits will go with the uh, wheels and, um, and the axles and then everything else will be built sort of around that platform um, I've also got the bits clipped out the leftover ones from the uh, from the big gun or the mech gun I guess it is and uh, so these will be kind of the front end of the guns that I'm thinking so uh, the first one is going to be pretty cool um, I've already kind of this one's the, the, uh, the maybe the easiest one to, to see how it's going to work. So I've got the the front bit of the chassis here and the engine. So let's glue the engine together first. And I just see that piece didn't clean this up properly. I was sort of dry fitting some of these things together as I went along just to try to brainstorm um, how this was all going to work. 
So the, I mean, the, the, the premise I'm trying to stick with here is that you only use pieces from the truck kit and the leftover pieces from the, uh, from the other kit, the, uh, watch my face, mech gun. Okay, so this is going to go on there. Sure, it's got contact with everything. Okay, that's going to go on there. Now I'm not going to glue the wheels just to make it easier to uh, to work with when I'm painting it. So I'm just going to glue the axle on there. And the idea with this one is the engine will be the main part of the gun and then somehow I'm going to mount uh, this piece here in the front. So um, if you remember from the mech gun assembly video, they all kind of have this common center piece here which causes a bit of a problem. Um, but this is going to go together and then somehow I'm going to maybe even use a piece of sprue or something to fill in there. and. Uh, going to go on the front there. So I'm going to let that one dry. Uh, the next one here, so I've got this piece, I'm going to glue part of the axle on there. And uh, the same idea will go on the last one as well. Now this one here, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to put a boarding plank uh, at the back end, kind of be the support. And the front end is going to be this piece here. So it's just going to go right on there and I tried to make those pieces as flat as I could so I get good surface area there and this one here I think is going to be beefy enough just kind of as is to uh, to make it look decent so I just got to make sure this is nice and straight or as straight as orcs would make it so it looks so it looks right anyways so that's going to go like that. That's kind of the front guard of the gun. Uh, these larger wheels are going to go on this one. It's oh, a good idea. I tried those because they're going to be a bit of a tight fit. That's going to go like that. And then I'm going to uh, somehow connect that on the back here. So these, these are the boarding plank kind of uh, pieces. So it'll go just like that. And then I might add some, some little extra bits here and there. So this is one of the extra side doors from the big guns kit. And uh, now I did say I was going to try to stick with my plan, but I'm also going to use these leftover uh, guns from the battle wagon kit. So in the battle wagon kit, you get your uh, cannon and your zap gun. Um, with the battle wagon upgrade screw, you get a kill cannon and a lava. So uh, I'm going to magnetize these, uh, or at least that's the plan, and put that sort of right there on my gun, and that back piece will be there, and that'll be uh, a zap gun. So when I come back, I'm going to have a bit more stuff assembled, and we'll walk through the next steps. Okay, so I kind of went a little bit further than I had planned. I finished everything off, so let's uh, take a look at what I did with all the bits. So um, a couple things did change from the last time, so I'm going to walk through basically the finished conversion. So this is my tractor cannon. Whoops, the wheel just fell off. And uh, obviously that's just from the kit, so there's no, uh, no explanation needed there. So put that off to the side. These three here are leftover bits from the kit, as well as um, the truck bits and the two guns from the battle wagon kit. So they got the, the cannon here and the zap gun there. Um, not loving that zap gun, but it looks okay, I guess. So, as you can see, these are all truck bits. Um, kind of the, the main chassis was cut into three parts, as I explained in the previous section, and I modified things just a little bit more um, from there. I flipped the wheels over so the, the you can see the axle kind of bends upwards. That's important to make these things sit a little bit lower, otherwise they, they sit a bit high and it looks a bit off. So you can see there are all three of them, including this one here. I even flipped it forward um, just to make it sit a little bit lower and I felt that that looked a bit better. So this one here is probably my favorite, uh, although I'm not loving the, the front uh, grill there. Maybe would have switched that it was something else. Um, but I got the main, the, the engine there is kind of the main part of the gun. I've got the lift to drop -a, um, there. I've got, uh, this is the radiator panel from the truck kit 
and then a leftover door. So that's how this one looks. And of course there'll be still images on my blog, you can check those out and of course uh, post questions or whatever. Uh, this next one here, uh, what I've done, so starting with the chassis, got the wheels on there, I haven't glued them and I haven't glued this, just uh, a me at the end. Um, I was thinking of trimming that a bit shorter, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. So anyways, the cannon is the main part in the middle there, I've got the zap gun, or sorry, the uh, Mega Blasta. Uh, piece there as well as the front. I had to trim it back a bit. I had to cut these pieces off the back just so it would kind of sit in there with the cannon. Uh, this is one of the kind of the, uh, the driver's seat or the area for the, the truck and then I took this part here, snipped the end off, attached it there. So I'm going to probably fill it in with a bit of super glue and then took that piece that normally comes down here and added it there. These are the two back walls of the, the back of the truck that I've got uh, glued on there and uh, one of the, the sets of doors that kind of go on the back of the truck and this is the the front panel from the truck so that's all that is um, this one obviously looks a lot like a truck with that back piece there not not 100% sure if I love how that all looks but um, we'll see if I end up keeping that then this one here is probably my least favorite of the three uh, I'm not sure if I like how the zap gun looks I mean it does look original, it does look orky, so it, it works, but uh, maybe this piece here looks a bit out of place at the back as well. So maybe that's the problem with these two, is that that uh, roll bar thing does look, doesn't quite look right. Anyways, this is the other, this is the gunner's side of the, the cab for the truck. I've got two doors here that I cut in half, and I glued them onto the reinforced ram. Um, this is the zap gun, I chopped the front off there and glued the uh, bubble chukka. Thing to the front and there's the other bubble checker thing. Uh, this is the uh, behind that goes to the back of the cab from the truck and the, one of the roll bars and of course the uh, the boarding planks there. So I have lots of leftover bits from the truck. Um, I have uh, where did I put those? And they're away. Anyways the back of the the I got this piece here I've got the big uh, the, the bed of the truck, so that's a big piece with lots of uh, panels on it. Um, and then there's the driver and the gunner and the the wrecking ball. It probably would have been a cool thing to have, you know, as if it was lifting ammo or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm really going to have to take that off, I think. So, anyways, uh, this is my finished stuff here. Uh, there'll be pictures on my blog, like I mentioned. Um, just one thing to note with making, uh, making Orky conversions, or any conversions for that matter, this is a key tool here, a razor saw. So you can get these at your local hobby store. It's just basically, uh, it's like a hacksaw. It works really good with plastic. And the idea is that it gives you a really, really straight cut. So when you're cutting things like these here, getting that nice straight line, it's pretty key for that. Um, where else did I use it? I used it uh, whenever I cut any of the, the uh, main chassis, I, I cut it with this. So basically you take the saw, I don't have a handle for mine, and you, you kind of you line it up, kind of use your finger beside it to, to get it all straight. Make a couple cuts like that, and then it'll cut straight through. Um, if you cut with uh, clippers or something, you'll end up with some you know residue, not residue, with some rough edges that you'll have to trim off with your knife. This is just a nice clean cut. You only lose the thickness of the blade and the stuff, and you get lots of uh, material, uh, lots of dust sort of that comes off. No big deal though. And uh, when you do that, it allows you to glue things together and getting kind of maximum surface area. So just a nice uh, hobby tip for you there. Um, you can pick these up for probably under ten dollars at a hobby store. Uh, you don't need to get a whole set. Just this is pretty key. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this conversion tutorial. I didn't end up magnetizing it like I thought I was. Um, but uh, there you go. I tried to stick to just using truck parts. I've got a whole box of bits and some other truck wheels, so maybe I'll try to do another set of these um, later. And, uh, you know, obviously these are all different weapons, but, you know, I think with uh, conversions like this, you can kind of do counts as, and uh, they look pretty cool, so your opponent shouldn't really care. Anyways, hope you liked this tutorial, and be sure to check back for other conversion tutorials, painting tutorials, assembly, and all that sort of stuff. And make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions or that sort of thing. See you next time.